Hey guys, welcome back to another unboxing video. Today we have Revival Collection, uh, Volume 2, Electric Boogaloo. That joke will never die. Um, before I open this thing, I want to give a thank you to the people that I bought it from online, which is uh, BC Universe Board and Card Games. It's a little creased there, that's from the packaging. It's alright though. So, uh, I've never had a negative experience buying from BC Universe. No, I'm not sponsored by them, but I just feel like every time I bought from BC Universe, it's always been great. Things arrive on time and sometimes earlier than expected. And sometimes if you make orders that are above $100, you get like extra little packs in there, which is like generous of them. So if you guys are ever gonna make a purchase, uh, I highly recommend BC Universe and yeah, can't. You, you get the low prices, accessories, and free shipping, which is why I bought this. So let's just open this right up. Get the keys in there. Oof. So. All right, got the wrapping off. So I wanted to mention that I've been hearing that the case pull ratios for this thing are kind of weird. People have been reporting getting like four ZRs per case when there's like seven possible ZRs to pull. So, got your typical promotional stuff going on here. Buddy Fight's a good game. And we're just gonna jump right into these. So we get, how many packs do we get? We get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten packs per display. Pretty cool little mini booster thing going on here. So let's open the first pack. Oh wow, that looks really nice. Wow. So, uh, Stride Fodder, Ghosty Brothers. I feel like this is the old art. This isn't the reprint art. That kind of makes me sad because I wanted the Gorbiduck reprint art. Uh, yeah. Prism Bird. Oh, man, these look so nice. This was such a plus. Oh wow, cool. So, Aqua Force G Guardian. This is the one. This is our double R. Well, I guess they're all double R's, huh? Well, this is rare. So, this is our double R. Uh,. You give stuff resist and cannot be hit, and this gets more shield. Yeah, three cards per pack. Cool. On to the next one. All right. Got the Stride Fodder for Bermuda Triangle, Marakumo Stride Fodder, and got Bledder Mouse Triple R. <laughs> Looks really nice. So Bledder Mouse is still. I guess when NLK was more relevant in premium meta, Buttermouse was part of the deck for the kill if you didn't do the NLK loop thing. Um, I feel like, it, yeah, this is definitely still stable in any uh, standard, G standard, or uh, premium dark regular deck you build, so definitely still a good thing to pull there. On to the next pack. So those are first triple R. I don't know what the pull. I don't know anything about the... Okay, so Padmini gets the all art. But Ghosty Brothers don't, apparently. That's cool, I guess. Um, I forgot what I was talking about earlier, but I guess it wasn't important. Is this the reprint art as well? I think this is the reprint art for Nubitama as well. So some are reprint art, some aren't, I guess. This is the Shiranui one. And uh, Bullish Primer, I guess. I don't remember this card being super amazing. Eh, it's Tachikaze. Tachikaze was kind of just there in G era. They were good, kinda, I guess, but they were just kinda there. <laughs> Much like Gurgit. Uh, Acrobat, Verdi, Spike Bros, Stride Fodder. Nikir, Stride Fodder. And this is a good card, Negronora. It's uh, when it's placed, you choose a face down G Guardian, turn it face up, choose two cards, different grades in your drop, call them to the Guardian Circle. Yeah, it's pretty decent. Especially, um, this is. Really good since, you know, grade ones and triggers have bigger shields now and in standard, so this card basically got a boost, kind of like Slimy Flare. I'm actually pretty pretty okay with these pulls so far. Um, this is the darker regular Stride Fighter, right? Yeah, search for Shaharat, search for Fenrir, and I don't even know what this thing does. I'm pretty sure you need this for, for the Spike Brothers GBA because it turns stuff face up. So that's cool. 
Um, choose one of your rear guards, put in the soul. This gets plus shield 10. Future open circles. Yeah. Cool reprint. Ugh. I wonder if we're going to get anything decent in this. Uh, this is the old art from Masquerade Bunny. I'm 90% sure. So some are old art, some are newer art. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. The OTT uh, Stripe Fighter's Battle Sister. That's really funny. Oh my god. Oh no. We did it. This was the best, like, $35 I ever spent. Oh, uh, uh, is the regular geese like that too, where it's like just common, and then this one's. Oh, so shiny. That looks so good. Oh, nut. Okay, I, I won. Whatever case that box, that this box was in, I destroyed it. I destroyed that case. <laughs> Whoa. All right, this was great. Reprint mini belly stride fodder. Pretty cool. Gormadog. Why? Why the old art? Why? <laughs> like, I don't want to spend money. You know what? Maybe it's because the newer one is already SP and they're like, we're going to make the old one SP too so people can have collections and stuff. This is funny with Shiryuki. That's all I want to say about this card is because you... Search, you choose a rear guard, move to guard, and then you search your deck for the same card and call it to guard. So it's like, you, if you have four soul, you can double Shiryuki. I, it's kind of funny, but like, whatever. It's, it's kind of making me upset, but I pulled Gize, so it's all okay. Or, sorry, Miles. I pulled G's. Oh, okay. Altart's Skisilis. Sure. Lava Flow. Lava Flow kind of looks the same. And she, Oh, that sucks. I did not want to pull this. Uh, how do you pronounce this thing again? Shibaraku Buster. Yeah, it's basically uh, the worst version of uh, Alfred Peace Saver. But I get Murakuma did it first, so I guess now I have the card to keep. That's what I get for, for keeping on making that meme, is anytime a rear guard gets twin drive, I'm like, Murakuma did it first, and they're like, there you go. You think you're so funny, huh? Grand Rope. This is definitely a reprint art, because I don't remember Grand Rope looking this awesome. That's a really cool foil. The foiling also enhances like the like oh, like the the darkness and then like the the gradient going on in the background. That's really cool. Uh basic Brenwin fodder. Ah, cool. I can add that to the to the Royal Paladin deck. That's really nice. Get that uh, full art Marin going on there. I'm liking that, liking that a lot. Pretty cool. Last pack. Let's see what I get. First card. This is original art, isn't it? I feel like it is. I'm probably wrong, but still cool. It's a Mega Colony Stride Fodder. Yeah! They get the good art for Arashid, Extreme Battler. So Victor's plays. And, yeah, I guess. So the G Guardians disappointed. Uh, it's okay because my G Guardian was gonna be Elise anyways, and it's like whatever. I'm kind of whatever about Elise. If it was Slamy Flare, I would have cared more. But um, what else was there? Oh, uh, the GRs. I guess you know who needs the GRs when you basically pulled the winning card of the set, right? But uh, yeah, that was basically it. Let's let's. I guess we can go through the high rarity pulls. I guess they're just the G Guardians. Huh? Well, let's go through the triple R. So. Shigaratsu Butster. Pretty sure that's the only triple R in the box, right? No, that's right. Blutter Mouse. I forgot I pulled that. So we got Blutter Mouse, Shigaratsu Butster, and Gize. This was pretty awesome. So, um, I'm I like the fact that the Stride Fodders are getting reprinted because I feel like there's some people eventually after a number of years these Stride Fodders would kind of get monopolized, kind of like how, like, anything that was meta when, like, got, you know, got support, everyone was kind of hunting for the Stride Fodders for that. I always remember, at least sometimes at locals, you got people running around asking, like, do you have, like, this one Stride Fodder? Remember there's this one dude from, like, two years ago running around asking people for Destiny Dealers for his Chaos deck, 
and he just needed one more. So it's kind of it's kind of funny how like Strife Fighters were like so free when the game started with G, and then like they kind of like were hard to find. But I like how these that they're getting reprinted. I like the way that that you get a bunch of them in this nice foiling. Uh, I might pick up. I'm I'm not might. I will pick up more of the Gorbaduck because I'm more inclined to finish it now that I have it. Um, the Marin, maybe Marin, just because I like Paladin decks so much. And yeah, everything else is pretty, pretty good. I'm liking this. I'm, uh, play premium. Premium's fun. Uh, now that we we have Jose, if Jose is watching this, we have every ZR except for Drachma. We need Drachma to have Gize on camera. Jose, we need you to get Drachma. So. Uh, if you made it this far into the video, please comment hashtag Jose buy a drachma. Again, that is hashtag Jose or hose. You can do hose. Hashtag hose buy a drachma. Thank you again for watching. Um, if you're looking forward to any more premium content, let us know what specifically you want to see in premium. And that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm Richard, and I'll see you on the next video.